Hello and welcome, Possum here bringing you the second chapter of WWE 2K14's 30 Years of WrestleMania mode, The New Generation. 2K in association with Bleacher Report have revealed all 46 matches to be in 30 Years of WrestleMania mode, and I'll be going over the second chapter here, featuring stars like Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, and The Undertaker. First we go to WrestleMania 10, the Intercontinental Championship match between Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels. This was the first ever televised ladder match between two future Hall of Famers. When they announced Razor Ramon would be in the game, this was a surefire match to be included in the game. Next is another match from WrestleMania 10, WWF Champion Roko Zuna vs Bret Hart. This match is an interesting backstory spawning from that year's Royal Rumble as both Lex Luger and Bret Hart had won that year's Royal Rumble, so both men would get a title shot that night. Yokozuna had wrestled Lex Luger earlier in the night, retaining his title. Bret Hart had to wrestle against Owen Hart to make each man have their second match for the WWF Championship. WrestleMania 11, Undertaker vs. King Kong Bundy. This would be the fourth WrestleMania match for Undertaker, defeating Jimmy Stuker, Jake Roberts, and Giant Gonzalez before continuing the streak against King Kong Bundy. WrestleMania 11 as well, we have Diesel vs. Shawn Michaels for the WWF Championship. A few between two former friends, Diesel came into the WWF as Shawn Michaels' bodyguard, so a big title match with a great storyline between two future Hall of Famers. WrestleMania 12, Undertaker vs. Diesel. Undertaker fights his fifth WrestleMania match against Big Daddy Cool Diesel. After two jackknife powerbombs, the Phenom would still kick out and turn the match around to continue his streak. Also at WrestleMania 12, we have the WWF Championship match between Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. This is one of the greatest matches of all time. An hour-long Iron Man match that lasted 60 minutes ended in a 0-0 tie. This match went into overtime for an amazing ending to an amazing match between the Heartbreak Kid and the Hitman, Bret Hart. And we see Bret Hart once again at WrestleMania 13 fighting off against Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is a classic match for Steve Austin, although Hitman would ultimately win this match with a sharpshooter, Stone Cold Steve Austin would not tap. He would pass out in the middle of the ring before tapping out to the sharpshooter. That concludes the matches to be featured in the new generation chapter of 30 Years of WrestleMania mode. This period spans from WrestleMania 10 to WrestleMania 13. There is, however, one match that includes wrestlers from the roster, but will not be in the mode. This is from WrestleMania 12, Ultimate Warrior vs. Hunter S. Selmsley. This will not be included for a few reasons. One, Ultimate Warrior is DLC and exceptions had to be reduced as much as possible. Hunter S. Selmsley is a different gimmick from Triple H and may have been too much work for 2K. Also, Sable is in the corner of Triple H, and that would be another point to not include this match. And with that, we move on to the Attitude Era, heavily featuring some of the biggest stars today, like The Rock and Triple H. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or comment, and you can subscribe to my channel for more WWE game content. This has been Pawsome, and I very much thank you for your time.